Hi, good morning, good evening everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to discuss on an issue I found with Azure Functions when I tried to run it in Visual Studio. Um, if you can see here, if I hit run here, it uh, Visual Studio always tries to re-download the Azure Functions CLI tools. So to mitigate that, um, we need to first remove this Azure Function tools here because I believe the tools here are corrupted, the Azure Function tools, and we'll try to create a new one so that it will re-download. Um, I will just create a, a sample app here. Uh, yeah, I'll just name this XXX. So there's already an XXX. What's inside here? Uh, so something like that. Hey, where is it? Alright. So here, uh, we'll try to save it there and just name this XXX. Huh? Solution name. Uh, yeah. I just name it like that because it's just temporary. It's for. The Visual Studio to re-download those Azure Function tools back into your Windows Studio, uh, stu um, Windows operating system, and we'll try to check here again. So it's back the Azure Function tools, and it has the releases and it has the manifest now. Okay, so I believe this will now run smoothly without downloading the Azure Function Tools and a project with the output uh, cannot be started directly in order for it to debug this project add an executable what? A rebuild and then run it again why is it a class? We want to create an Azure function. Function XXX. Okay, and then we are going to use the storage emulator. Azure storage account, Azure function. This, uh, yeah, this one, and then this one and recreate it again and uh, rebuild that then run it again okay it's back and yep it doesn't So okay, so there's the URL. Okay. So it's back. And we're going to name this GL for our dog Janloid. Okay, so it's now working. It's not downloading anymore. So that's the fix. We just need to delete this Azure Function Tools here and it will re-download for you and that's it guys so don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you very much bye